What's up guys, John Haas, RN here with NRSNG and we're back with another Tuesday test tip. I'm excited about this one because I've got a little bit of a personal story to share. Back in, I think it was 2003, I was in an anatomy and physiology course. I had to take this course because I was a health science major. I had no knowledge of what the course was gonna be. So when I walked in the first day, I had no idea exactly how hard AMP was gonna be. Fast forward to the end of the semester, after taking that one class, I was like, all right, changed my major, was like, I gotta go into medicine. I gotta learn more and more and more about the body. But when I walked in there, I, again, like I said, I had no idea how hard the class was gonna be. But because I loved it so much, studying became very, very, very easy for me to do. And I found a way to help me remember the material and actually understand it at a deeper level. And that was something as simple as just drawing pictures. And I'm gonna to talk to you about how drawing pictures can help you master material and how you can start drawing pictures today uh, to, to improve your understanding and improve your learning. But first I wanna share something from, this is the Carnegie Mellon University. They talk about something called picture superiority effect. What they really say is concepts are much more likely to be remembered if they are presented as pictures rather than words. In nursing school, we're reading thousands and thousands of pages. My med search textbook was 1800 pages of words and words and words and words and words. That's really hard to make that stuff really click. So you gotta get that stuff turned into pictures. That's what I did when I passed that anatomy and physiology course. That's what I did when I passed the NCLEX. That's what I did for the CCRN. So this method really works. And I use it extensively. We'll show you some pictures of, that I used uh, as I prepared for CCRN. These aren't great pictures, but they help me nonetheless. So not only do pictures help you remember things, but the actual process of creating those pictures forces you to learn the material at a deeper level so that you can break it down into these simple diagrams. Another really good study from the American Federation of Teachers says that people who had high scores on spatial tests, visual learning and drawing pictures, were much more likely to major in science disciplines. So being able to, to think in this spatial way, to think with these pictures, makes you more adept and makes you better at these science disciplines like nursing. So let me give you some tips on how to actually draw pictures. The first thing is, is just practice. Just take out some colored pencils, take out some paper, and just start drawing. Find a method for breaking down this information that works for you. Next would be color. Having these pictures in color really helps. If you're drawing the cell, you know, make the, the phospholipid bilayer a different color than the mitochondria, and, and all this starts really making this information click a little bit better as you have it in different colors, you can quickly refer back. Just a cheap set of colored pencils will usually do the trick. Mind maps. Mind maps is another thing that can really help you uh, understand things. For something like the renin angiotensin aldosterone system, this is a complex process that works all throughout the body. So being able to break that down into kind of a, a mind map and through a process really makes it click. There's a couple of ways you can do these mind maps. One would be just something like Lucid Chart. It's a free tool you can get on there and draw some charts. Just doing it in PowerPoint. PowerPoint lets you draw shapes really quickly as well as uh, like Google, Google Charts and stuff like that. And then just paper, just simple paper is enough to really make these things stick. And then really start thinking through the process. What does it actually mean to say, or you know, what does an ACE inhibitor do? What does it mean to be a, uh, an angiotensin converting enzyme inhibitor? Where is that all taking place? And how is that actually working? And draw that process from start to finish. This is really gonna make this stuff click. And the last thing is, don't be a perfectionist. I'm not a great artist, that's okay. You guys have seen our videos inside the academy. I'm not a great artist, but I'm drawing and that's helping that information stick. We employ this method a lot inside NRSNG. It helps so much to be able to see the process drawn out. Most of our lectures are based on very visual way of learning, but then we have the text there for you guys who are more uh, text-based learners. So I invite you guys to start doing this. I invite you to come into the academy, check out some of these lessons and check out how we draw these things. I know it's gonna make a huge difference for you guys. And with that said, go out and be your best self today. Happy nursing.